I'm here with May Flom, and May is going to show us how to cut it up to make it all work, right? Yes, indeed. So I love making mistakes. You love, I make love making mistakes. mistakes. No, I'll tell you why. Because some of my most favorite creations came out of an artistic whoopsie. Whether it was, there was one time where I spilled paint on something and ended up creating like a whole cool technique. There's been times where I was going for one thing and it turned into something else completely and it was just wonderful. So I'm all for like, let's make the mistake because that's where we learn. That's where I we grow. I always say mistakes are creative opportunities and you are taking that opportunity. I like that opportunity. So what I want to show you today is what I I do when it really is like it's just done. Okay, it's let's a disaster. See it. It's just done. So, this I've got some samples here of things that maybe would go to the recycling bin. Um, this is what I actually recommend: is whether it's acrylic paint, watercolors, whatever you want, whatever you've got. So I'll just show you just really quick. You can do anything. So I've got some spray color here. I like spray color so because so this is really a way. I'm fast. assuming when you have art that doesn't work out, if you want to turn yes. it into something better, what you want to start doing is just. Just adding playing. Just add stuff. color. Add color, add whether you want watercolor, you know, whatever you've got. If you've got a brayer, you can see these little dots. So I used a brayer there. Um, I'll brayer on layers of color and play with it because sometimes I'll discover a technique with this or, you know, with a spatula or something. Maybe you'll find like different textures that you really like. But just keep playing with it and adding to it, even if it becomes kind of a mess. And then once you're just, you know, you've, you've played as much as you feel like playing, then what I like to do, this is where it gets really fun, because as a whole, no, you know, any of these, we're not looking at anything spectacular, but if we chop it up, if we look for the art design within there and cut it, now we might really have something. So that's where the electronic so cutting machine I was gonna say, I have right in. here, this is a leftover yes. scrap. I think this is a manila folder. It has it some is. collage I can see, layers There's of paint. There's some things, this is a real life from my studio gone wrong. And I actually, I've already cut out a couple of, so I stamped and did some basic cutting, which is fun. Right. You know, if you wanna layer on stamping, you can see here's a couple of Samples that's where that's cute. You know what? It's fun and like this one. Then I started coloring my bunny. You know, you know I feel I'm like making people art on art. Spend a lot of time making pretty backgrounds. Yes. And and this is basically like you're just taking the stuff that didn't work and turning it, yes. converting it into a pretty. So background. they can like these still become backgrounds. But what we're gonna do is we're first. What shape do you want? I'm thinking a snowflake. Okay, snow. A girl from California. <laughs> who wants snowflakes. Of course I do, since I don't have them. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scan this in so we can see it, and then we can really pick, right? And so we can is, just kind of fussy cut it. Yes, so this is my favorite part because we can move the snowflake around and resize it so that, and if for some reason we don't like it, if we're going, oh, you know what? Like that's happened where this was gonna be a star, and then when I got it in there, I went, no, it's a heart. Right, and of course you can do this with a stencil through tracing, you oh, can yeah. do it with, you know, There's, a it's punch. Endless. You can do a lot of different ways of getting this done. Yes. So let's see. Why don't I make that a little bit bigger? I, I don't like to waste anything. I don't know. Oh, about you. I don't either. And a little bigger is always fun. So I'm just gonna put that so that we get some of that gold I and love... maybe some of that book text. Does that look good to you? Oh, it looks wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut it out. Now, I love what you say about taking your mistakes and discovering techniques. Because, yes. like, if I look at these two tags right next to each other, they look almost to me like something that's happened to me before where I get a not a great stencil because I can see you used a yes, little I mask did. for that. And so then what I do is kind of take a brush and wipe it out. And manila tags are one of my favorites when I'm not feeling big and bold. Manila tags are one of my favorite mediums to work on because we can also, you can see here on this finished one where there's another one of that stencil face Oh my face gosh, I underneath. did not even see that face under there. I didn't, That's did, so cool. I was going for a light and dark and it didn't, in my head it looked a lot better. So here we, we just used one of those snowflakes from a different piece that also didn't turn out. Oh, and we're ready. See we're ready. What can it. I say? I should probably actually yes. use a spatula because I tend to have really big fingers. I got oh. You get a snowflake. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that though. I mean, well, it's so, so this much is the thing, prettier. Which is that snowflake is extraordinarily beautiful and not to be rude to you, May, but this was not a particularly beautiful piece of paper. No, it was not. And same with any of them, you're not gonna see a beautiful piece of paper. It's gonna become beautiful when you cut something out. If it can be a little bit intricate, I find it looks better because then you're not getting big chunks of that piece. But look, I just, just... So what are we gonna do with it now? So what I like to do with something like this, so this tag here is an example, this card is an example. I like to find 
someone else. You know what? I think I like it on. I think it's I like nice it on this because one. you know what? It sort of obliterates the face, and you just see it almost as wind or something like yes. that. Yes. So you can get out if you want. If you have a sewing machine, adding mm -hmm. stitches is fun. What I like to do is glue it down there. And then let's see, let's take. You know, a few. I like that you don't even audition everything else. You just go ahead straight I go with to it. the glue. No, I just go with it. Go with that. Tie some twine through here. I like and that then, you're not just putting a single ribbon through, but you're oh, taking never, a variety never. We of things. We gotta go with. And then what I like to do is. Trust your crazy ideas here. Well, so this is fun. You can use stickers so, that I, obviously have layering. the text, or you can yes. cut up book pages and make your own found poetry. Buttons. We'll get what I like to do sometimes is get in the button and sequin jar, because that's always fun. And kind of sprinkle a few things on and see. Well, like, I love how color coordinated this is. But the blue, what do, but with I the like tang, to sprinkle it for the random and then I go in and go, no, I don't want those flowers. No, I don't want those. No, I don't want that. And then I come in with the glue, and then I say, here's exactly where we want it, and glue it down, like you can see on this one. So it is both random and planned. I love that, May. I Thank you. I call it organized chaos. That's a good one. That's a good one. Brother International Corporation is the maker of the Scan and Cut Home and Hobby Cutting Machine with a built-in scanner, and is known for supplying innovative sewing and embroidery machines. ScanandCut.com.